This is the second video working through the handout for chapter 11. This one focuses on how to get R to calculate quantiles. So if I'm calculating a quantile, what that means is that I've selected a probability P that I want to cut off the lower end of my probability model. And when I use the quantile function, what it's going to do is it's going to find the value and we can call the value little x such that the probability that my random variable, the big X, is less than that specified value, the quantile, is going to be equal to that probability P that I selected. And the way to calculate the quantile is to use Q and then the R model name associated with the probability model that you want. And then inside the parentheses, we need to put in the probability that we want to cut off the bottom of the distribution, P, and then the parameter values that are needed to be specified for that particular model. So for example, if I know that the number of hurricanes per year has a Poisson distribution with an average rate of 5.5 per year, and I want to give a 95% coverage interval, I know that to capture the middle 95% of the distribution, I'm going to need to cut 2.5% off the bottom. So the lower limit I'm going to find by taking my Q for quantile. This is a Poisson distribution, so P-O-I-S. I want 2.5% from the bottom, so the P is going to be 0 0.025, that's 2.5%. And then the parameter that I need to specify for the Poisson is just one of them. It's lambda, and it's equal to 5.5. So if I run this, I can see that the 2.5 percentile of my Poisson distribution is 1. I can do the same thing to find the quantile of the Poisson distribution that cuts off the bottom 97.5% by putting in a P of 0.975 and again specifying my lambda equals 5.5 and that tells me that 11 is the 97.5% quantile in this Poisson distribution now, just to kind of look at how to make this a little bit easier, if I wanted to, instead of typing in two separate lines of code, I could also do the same kind of thing, but list with this concatenation function, 0 0.025, 0 0.975. I still need to tell it what lambda is. And if I run this, see it gives me both, both values together. So there's my 95% coverage interval for this Poisson distribution. And if I wanted to sort of interpret that in context, I could have done it here. There's a 95% probability that a randomly selected year will have between 1 and 11 hurricanes in the Atlantic. Now another example, and this is one you can try on your own and stop the video for a little bit and give it a shot and then come in and check your work. The heights of 14 year old girls can be modeled with a normal distribution with a mean of 1.512 meters and a standard deviation of 0 0.741 meters. We want to find the interquartile range for the distribution. To do this, I know the interquartile range is going to be the difference between Q3, which is the 75th 5% quantile. So if I do Q, and now I'm working with a normal distribution, so Q norm, I want to cut off the bottom 75%, so 0 0.75 would be the proportion down below there. And then I need to tell it the parameters. For a normal distribution, I need to specify the mean 
equals, and let's see, the mean is uh, 1.512, comma. I also need to specify the standard deviation, SD equals 0 0.0741, and that gives me my third quartile. I'll type Q3 there so I will display it for me. Okay, there's my third quartile. My first quartile, quantile norm, 25%, so 0.25. And again, the mean equals 1.5. Uh, 0.512 standard deviation equals 0 0.0741 and again I'll display that just so we can see it there's that first quartile and now if I want to calculate the interquartile range I could just take Q3 minus Q1 and my interquartile range is about 0 0.09995 um, meters. So that brings us to the end of our short video on calculating quantiles with R.